start it now. Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy TJ Pedro and I'm back with another video and I know it's been a long time and I know the face cam's not here, but I'm having a problem with the face cam now and I'm not trying to delay another video like I have for the past couple weeks with my audio because without audio you guys can't hear it. I don't know if any of you guys saw my the video I posted last about Nick Castellanos, but there was no audio in there. That's been my issue the entire time was audio. And I don't know if you heard in the past videos for the last few months, I didn't realize there was a staticky sound. Been trying to take this time to try and figure out the root of the issue. And I think I finally got it. I think I got it. So we're back to posting. Sorry to keep you guys waiting, but if you like the return and you want to see more after this return video, leave a like down below. If you're new here, hit that sub button again. We're trying to reach 200 subs in 2020. Hopefully we can do better. I know you guys can do better than that. So let's do it right now. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So while I was gone, a lot has happened. The Astros are on their apology tour right now, and they're not doing a good job. Jim Crane looks like an asshole. Carlos Correa looks like Altuve's dick sucker. And Josh Reddick just looks like a flat-out dick. Sorry to say it, but it's true. They look like dicks. And... Players are starting to speak out about how disrespected they feel and the disrespect they have for the Houston Astros, Mike Trout, Cody Bellinger, and even LeBron James went and put Ma Rob Manfred on blast. Now, to anyone saying that the player should have been punished, that's a line that I will not cross because that gets complicated. But, long story short, the union cannot let this the punishment happen without a fight. So, I guess in Manfred's mind, he just didn't want to deal with the best union in sports. So, what is there to do to punish the players without punishing individual players suspension-wise? Take the ring away. Take the banner away. And take what Rob Manfred called a piece of metal away. That 2017 championship, 100, 200 years from now, should not be considered the Houston Astros championship. That's a tainted trophy. Now, I see a ton of people saying just put an asterisk on it. No, that's petty. Take it away entirely. This situation could just be solved. Mike Trout would be fine with it. Hell, even Aaron Judge is talking about it. Two of the most quiet players in baseball have been talking about this situation and putting the Astros on blast. Some people were even saying that this, this was the first time they heard Mike Trout's voice. Because he's usually Mr. Bland. And I don't want to really talk about that. Or very vague with his comments about it. But this time he went in. And it got to the point where even LeBron James is now tweeting about it. And I'll read you the tweets right now. Listen. I know I don't play baseball. But I am in sports. And I know if someone cheated me out of winning a title. And I found out about it. I would be fucking irate. I mean, like, uncontrollable about what I would or could do. Listen here, baseball commissioner, Rob Manfred. To your, to your players speaking out about how disgusted, mad, hurt, broken, etc. about this. Literally, the ball is in your court. Or should I say field. And you need to fix this for the sake of sports. So LeBron James, who isn't even a baseball player, wasn't affected by this. I mean, he is. He was a Yankee fan at one point, so maybe he was affected by it a little bit. 
But um, I'll leave that alone. Anyways, I think if there is a way to fix it for the sake of sports, like LeBron James said, it's just to take away that championship. And people are going to say, oh, what about the Red Sox championship? And you know what? Even though I'm a Yankee fan, what they did was way less, if the reports are true, than what the Astros did. What's it called? They, the Red Sox, what they did is they decoded signs after the game and were able to relay them in game only when there was a runner on second base. They used technology, basically they replayed the game after it was all said and done, looked at the signs and saw what was thrown. When you got a runner on second base, they can relay it somehow, and that's how they got runs, and that's how they got their signs across. To me, that's more on the side of gamesmanship than banging a trash can to give the player at the plate a sign so that any player can get a sign no matter what. So yes, I think it would be okay if the Astros championship gets taken away and the Red Sox doesn't. I I don't see them taking away both and you know what? I don't see them taking away either. Why? Because MLB does not do the right thing most of the time. Just remember, this this story would have never gotten out if it wasn't for Mike Fires. Teams were talking about this all over the place. And they swept it under the rug. Because... And even, and Astros fans, if you guys are saying the MLB is using you guys as a scapegoat, they didn't want to do this. You guys were the darling child of baseball, the low market team who was actually good. Like, they need a team like you to stay relevant in those markets, making the Oaklands of the world, the Kansas Cities of the world, the Midwest teams. Those teams that aren't high market, you guys were like the darling child for those teams saying, we have a chance. Houston is a big city, but not as, but doesn't have the biggest market like New York or LA. You guys were proving that even your market can be a great team. But now we know that you guys were cheating. They did not want to do this. They had years that they could have done it if they really wanted to. They didn't. Until Mike Fires, a player on that team, came out. It kind of forced their hand and they had to do something. But the only way you can fix this entire situation is for Rob Manfred and his crew to go over to Minute Maid Park. Rip that sign down. Or the banner. Take the rings from every player that was on that team. And take that piece of metal away. Because even though it's just a piece of metal. It means much more. In the history books. But anyways guys. That is it for me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Again I am sorry for the break. Had some audio issues. Took a while to fix. But it finally did. So, if you want more, leave a like down below. If you're new here, hit that sub button. Again, like I said at the start of the video, we're trying to hit 200 subs in 2020. Let's make it sooner rather than later so we could go after our next goal. And as always, I'm out of here. Peace!